Hey guys, my name is Christian and I'm uh, quickly going to do a review and a performance check on uh, the new Stage Pass 500 from Yamaha. Um, they gave me these speakers about, I think, a month ago and uh, I've used it in six or seven gigs and um, last night I had a gig where it was supposed to be acoustic gig so I took these little ones with me. Um, when you hear the specs you'll understand why I, s I sound surprised, but basically it's little 10 inch um, drivers and uh, and I was only supposed to do an acoustic gig for about 100 people um, in a hall a bit bigger than this one and um, and it turned out to become a party and I had to DJ and I st started playing dance music and uh, sang till like I think I had like a six hour gig and these bad boys performed so anyway I'm quickly going to show you the the speakers and do some specs. Sorry for all the nooks and scratches. They they do work a lot. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I'm quickly going to show you the speakers and the demo and just uh, all the specs on them. Cool. All right. As you can see, it's nice, neat speakers. Um, very small. Just to give you a comparison, here's my guitar box with my Yamaha guitar inside. So they're they're really really small. Um, they're about the size of a small uh, suitcase. They fit into my sedan. Um, any basic sedan. Really, really small car. They, they fit perfectly. Now, if you think that you can do a live acoustic gig and a DJ set for 100 people with a sound system that totally fits into your boot, that's insane. So anyway, nice and slick, smooth, very beautiful design. Now, <clears throat> if you look behind these bad boys, we'll see a panel. All right. So what's so cool about this panel? Uh, it hides a compartment. <laughs> oh, and I saw this. I'm into powered or passive speakers. So, so I do the whole big bulky 15 inch driver. Um, and then in them, I kind of uh, put a, a major amp on it. So it doesn't really um, give problems with volume and so. Now, the cool thing about these panels behind them, I just need to get something out of my jacket, is uh, they lock with a little mechanism that opens up with a five cent coin, or in my case, the end of my broken key. <laughs> You'll see they have little small lock and open position keys. You turn them like that, and it's open. Open it up, and you'll see there's a compartment. And here you'll find the basic wiring that's needed for the operation of the system. That's two jack power jacks and a power cable. Now you see this is a small indentation. If you look at the speaker itself, it's almost a quarter of the space inside, which asks, bears the question, but where does the power come from? Well, you'll have to see. Okay, so that's the one side. It's your power cable, basic power cable, and then two mini jacks or jack to jacks which uh, supplies the power to the speaker. They're extremely light. Really like one arm, no problem, kind of lift up light situation. Okay, that's the one speaker. Now the other side, we turn that one around, we'll find, hmm, it's a desk. Oh my word. So the desk fits inside the speaker. That's really cool, but the thing that really freaks me out, when you open it up and you take it out, you find it's a bit bigger than a normal desk, it's smaller than my, my Behringer uh, 4 channel, has exactly the same specs as my Behringer, but the difference is it's also an amp. All right, that's a bit freaky, right? This rig would be, um, I would rate it the same as a 250 watt RMS rig, easily, easily. So that means this bad boy gives me the same power as a 500 watt amp and it has a rack unit a basic desk stunning preamps Yamaha insanely cool preamps basic EQs you have monitor out you have reverb which is stunning uh, I use it for my vocals and then uh, you have this little button over here that gives it extra bass when you play music alright now I, I don't think Yamaha was originally 
thinking that you should have like do a full band on this thing, but the thing is I do. I use it for my three-piece band as well when I do small gigs. Then you have Phantom Power, which is stunning. Okay, your speaker out, of course. You have um, your cassette out, which is cool because we don't use cassettes anymore, but that's if you want to run it to your laptop. Um, you have your mono out and your right out. Your mono also becomes your monitor out. All right, cool. Then, master, or your volume keys. You have your four XLR inputs, which is kind of cool. You have a line switch with all of them. That means sometimes you, uh, when you use a line, the um, signal is weak. So you push this button, and it just boots, boosts that bad boy. You have two compressions, which is your... Um, your standard Yamaha compression unit. You just don't have the knob on the bigger Yamaha desks. I'll show it to you on the on the other desk I'm going to use tonight, which you just push in, and it gives you a nice compression. I use it for my guitar, and my vocals, especially when you when you do a wedding or something, and somebody wants to do a speech. All right, basic EQ, high and low, which is stunning because the preamp is amazing. So you don't really use it that much. It's just when you have different halls and you need to do it. You have your reverb function on four of your channels. Then you have extra four channels over here. You have your jack inputs, which is like for guitar or piano or whatever. Nice thing, it's stereo, so m most of your high-end uh, pianos and keyboards and whatnot. Um, Moss has a, a stereo out, so that's nice. Then you have for your backtracks or your CD player, two outputs. You'll see that these four channels, they don't have the reverb function or the compression function, or the line function. So it's basically an add-on. Okay, now, the thing that really freaks me out about this unit is the next. Let's quickly look at the specs here, shall we? I don't know if it blurs for you guys. But now, we see the stage pass 500, and it's 200, uh, 220 to 240, which is our African um, power supply units. I know you American dudes use the two, uh, 1010 volts, which they also um, work for. This is the thing that really freaks me out. Over here, you'll see it's 65 watts. I have the equivalent of a 500 watt rig. If I would have used Wolfdale or one of the other products, Behringer or something like that, which we also use in Africa a lot because it's a cheaper alternative. But I have the equivalent of a, of a 500 watt system here, in my perspective, at 65 watt. How insane is that? That's basically two LED cans that you're running. So you can put this whole rig up with four cans and you're not even gonna use 500 watt. What's up with that? That's insane. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna be setting this bad boy up. I'm gonna tell you how long it takes because you can see you basically carry it in one arm, uh, with two hands. Quickly set it up and uh, then you'll just see how easy the setup is. All right, so that was full setup. Let's quickly look at the stopwatch. I started it when I started setting up. So that would be 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, you guys can't see that, the blurs. Anyway, so to give you an idea, yes, yeah, call me maybe, baby. Anyway, it's plugging this in to my phone, because I'm using my pad as to, to record this video, of course. Um, let's quickly run to one of my favorite songs. Um, playlist. That would be, this is the thing from Fink. I love this song. All right, so you'll see I put set up the, the setup very basically African style. Put it in now. Usually when I use this rig, I don't have a sound engineer with me. That's why I use it. My three and a half minutes. Come on, set up, plugged in, everything's going well. Put it up on the speakers. Now I know you can't hear the volume. I'm just, I want to give you a basic indication. All right, it's putting it on basic volume, and it's really soft over here. Okay, this is quite a big hall. This is our church, okay? It fits about 150 people. Very small, very basic. It's about the size of like, say six garages or whatnot. Okay, so that's basic. I'm gonna now put it on max volume. But first, I'm gonna show you this music function. So I'm going to put it louder, cut the treble a bit. Now you can hear, it's a bit tingy, it's a very hollow um, room. When it fills up it becomes better, the acoustics. 
Um, but now the speed check the speed function speech function. I'm just gonna turn this one to us that if we can maybe just hear the definition. So now it's up. Hear the volume coming up. It's not even turned half open yet. I don't know if you hear that. Oh, I don't even hear my band coming in. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a rest uh, the rest of the thing later. Peace out. All right, so cool. We just did a setup, and we are uh, one, two, three musos. We have two guitars, piano, and two vocals, and uh, and we also have a track running off um, a track running off the iPad. Hey, Pit, say hello to the people. And so yeah, cool. So that's cool because we got Phantom Power running from this one. We have I think a Neumann running off this one, and then we have a normal Zenizer over here. And uh, it's the two guitars, the keyboard, and we have a track running over here. So uh, utilizing all the channels, having quite a nice setup going. So yeah. So that's my review on the Stage Pass 500. Cool rig. It's for a second rig. It's amazing. Uh, even for a small band, it's stunning. Um, yeah, cool. Look out for my other Yamaha reviews and um, check you later. Subscribe somewhere along the side. <laughs> check you out.